ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now to talk about a terrific day on Wall Street from start to finish. Richard. Haley, you've got it absolutely right. The best day actually we've seen since April. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up by 100 points after only 15 minutes of trading this morning. It was up by 210 points at the high of the day. Didn't finish that high, but certainly a most respectable gain. Some aggressive buying in the NASDAQ, which had been down for three days in a row, but certainly not down today. And what's behind it? Well, there are rumors that Congress actually may take a look at tax reform. We'll see about that. But let's take a look at how we did today, and we did very well, thank you. Look at that. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 196 points, 9 tenths of 1 percent, closing at 21,899.89 on volume of 642 million shares. The NASDAQ, as I said, had been down three days in a row, but certainly not today, up more than 84 points, more than 1.3 percent, closing at 6,297.48 that on volume of 1,489,000,000 shares. And of course, the S&P joined the party up 1%, more than 24 points at 2,452.51. Well, shares of Macy's have been down 45% so far this year, but effective September 8th, there's going to be a new sheriff in town. Macy's today announced that it is taking a senior executive vice president away from eBay, who will become the president of Macy's. Now let's see, Macy's eBay, might there be perhaps a little e, uh, retailing, electronic retailing, trying to fight with Amazon? Yes, there surely could be, and as I said, the stock has done very poorly year to date, but the stock was up 5% today, which means investors think that just maybe Macy's is getting the message and is going to look at the very important online business, which apparently it is not doing so far. And Richard, you also have some news on uh, Best Buy today. Yes, I do. Perhaps a product that you're familiar with or Haley is. I don't know a darn thing about it. It's something called Nintendo Switch. It has something to do with video games. The sales apparently are just astounding, and it is actually selling more in the stores than it is online. So a very good day for Best Buy, up 2.2%. I do not know of it either, Richard, but apparently that's helping them. We'll do a research. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, sounds good. All right, great.